Hi guys, the other day I've made a video about quick GUI bin and uh, it's a front end for QMU. No, let's have a look what the name is again. Quick GUI. So we have it already on our repo. Quick Emu, right. GUI, Quick Emu are connected with each other. And um, well, in this video, you'll see that we have here choices to install basically guys it's a sandbox right it's it's a virtual box it's an, uh, a vmware it's a boxes it's a qmu it's that so quick get quick emu oh it says up here right they're connected and here it jumps from arch Linux to debian you can install any of these guys and many more the thing is i've reached out to the developers so you install quick GUI, simple as usual, control T and then sudo pacman minus S and then quick something. And there's quick emu git, GUI bin, quick tile, quick emu, right? It's the GUI, the, GUI, the graphical user interface and then the binary form of it. If you install that, all the rest comes with it. So the QMU, quick emu and others will be installed as well. So you've got the application. Quick GUI. A Flutter front end for Quick Cat and Quick Emu. Not much to see here. Dark mode, some language choices, that's it. And then you first need to create a new machine and you select an operating system. And now you'll see that Arconix is in there as well with a space, but okay, that we can live with. It's normally attached, right? It's one word, but there's so much more to try out just quickly. Have it in there, have a look around, make your decision. Okay. Of course, I am only interested in Arconix. So if you click this one, you get to select a version and he has prepared three versions for us. That's the one I've already installed. So the only thing you need to do is click, select the version. You have a choice, large and small. And then we take maybe the large one and you download. So he's gonna get a uh, file, the ISO, right? He's gonna download the ISO. And it is in two steps. So first, if you don't have anything, download if you already installed you take the left button so first download and get out of here go back to the first image first screen and then we'll do number two that sounded strange in my ears <laughs> you know what I mean This, yeah, that's your speed, right? That's what you've paid for. All right. So then you say, what now, right? Dismiss. Dismiss. You're back. And again, you have this, what now? So go back. And now you have managed existing machines. And I have now two of them. I'll take the other one. So that's the one I've tested. And that's the one I've downloaded now. And all you need to do is click this thing or uh, sh shut it down if it's running or remove, right? That's of course an option. And here are the places where everything is. Configuration, cancel. And then we run this one. That's a new one for me. And then we have an issue, right? Um, in the sense that, well, first of all, you see this is UEFI so that's something that's um, already let's see if I can shift left F12 so this guy and then that guy I have my mouse again yay right that's set here what to press you can change a few things in here toolbar full screen 
The thing is, if you go full screen, you never can go back out of it, it seems. Maybe you can, but um, remember that, so you need to shut down the virtual machine then, and that's okay. But if you do it like this, you can also, of course, boot up. It's a bit, feels a bit slow. There's not really something to set, right? Like memory or CPU or anything like it. It's boom, run. It's very, um, how do you say that, right? There are some things I can change here. But really not much. So I'm not gonna press the full screen there. I could, of course, yeah, sure. But I need to exit the system then. So there you go, and that's all I wanted to share. It's another tool, maybe you like it, maybe you can test it out and let me know if that's something you like, right? It's on our repo, and now Arclix is also in the, the, the drop down in the downloads so you can test it that way as well. All right, have fun.